Welcome to the Secret Garden of Survival. It is mid-February here in the Appalachian Mountains. And as you can see behind me, we've got uh, a tremendous amount of blossoms and buds on our pear trees. And uh, even our peach trees are starting to, uh, to bud out. And uh, we've had, uh, even though we've had snow and some other stuff here, and it's been a few really cold days, uh, for the most part, um, we've had a pretty mild winter. And unfortunately, um, as you can see here, uh, we've got um, a lot of buds. And each of these flowers is going to end up being fruit. And... Uh, you know, we've got uh, this pear tree there, and um, got another pear tree behind it there. You can see some flowers. That one's already pretty much uh, been pollinated and gone, gone by. The flowers are already dropping off. And um, we've got uh, <coughs> a uh, cherry down there where um, you can see the white right there. And uh, peach trees are just starting to bud out here um, as well as uh, you know we've got uh, an Asian pear right there so um, I'm very concerned very concerned that uh, if we have a uh, another frost which um, we quite possibly could have here I mean we typically uh, try not to plant any vegetables until May 1st just because you never know when a frost is going to hit um, that you didn't expect. Usually after that time there's no problems, but uh, could have a tremendous um, tremendous harvest this year if we don't get any frost to uh, to kill these buds after they've been pollinated or we could uh, have some serious problems here with uh, with fruit. Uh, last year I was out um, when we were going to have a frost and the temperature got down to about uh, 20 uh, 25 I think one night and I was literally out here just like I used to do with citrus um, and spraying down the trees with water and that water would freeze and keep it at a constant 32 so it wouldn't get any colder than that and um, that kept us from losing fruit and if you've seen any of my videos on uh, like for example our peach trees that uh, one of them I got over a thousand peaches off of that was uh, fortunately because I had sprayed it with water um, that year. Uh, we would have had nothing if I hadn't done that. So, anyway, um, this is the state of the Secret Garden of Survival right now. And uh, our bees are out pollinating this, this fruit. And uh, hopefully we will not have issues. Hopefully it will stay warm and uh, we'll have a good year.